Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. Um, speaking of cat, Curly's in here with me. That's what the tail's from. And uh, you might get to see a cat, but <laughs> that's not why I'm here, though. I wanted to share with you what I've been warming and my empties. Curly! He's rubbing on this. Curly! He's in a flippy, floppy mood. Are you done? You love the box? He loves the box. Okay. Well, as you can see, I've got a, I don't have a tripod right now. And my lazy ass hasn't bought one. So, like I was going to say, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I have a bunch of what I've been warming stuff here. And it is not just Scentsy. There's some Bath and Body Works stuff in here. I'm going to share, if I can find them. I don't think I have them out. Let me look. Give me one second. I'm going to look for something. I do have two mixes I've been doing. I didn't finish, but this, someone said they used it for Valentine's Day and it was called Feisty Valentine. So I mixed these two and it was really nice here in the office. Like I said, cat butt. Um, Curly is joining us. And then this morning I mixed these two and it was okay. That's vanilla bean buttercream, raspberry, black raspberry vanilla. So there's a little mixing action going on. Curly. But I am going to start, and I'll just make a little pile here in front of you guys. Let's start with this one. This one was a Walmart Mainstays candle that I chopped up. It wasn't great chopped up, and it was not great as a single wick, so I would not repurchase this one. It smelled good, but then it had no throw, no matter what you did with it. And <laughs> this was a coffee fragrance candle from Goose Creek. It was a single wick. It was very, very, very strong, but it smelled like burnt coffee, like nasty. Um, I had to, I had to take it out of my warmers and put pumpkin spice latte or something in there. Curly's gonna help. He's surveying the damage here. He's playing with the bags. I did use my candle warmer for a while this week and I warmed and finished Market Peach. And this one I had started already. So I finished this one. It was nice. It was pretty good. Um, I started using the pour method. So these are going to be a hot mess just to warn you. I do love this fragrance. I believe I have another candle of it. And I did the same thing with Goose Creek Poland. It's sugared apple tart. This one is actually really good. My husband started making fun of me because I'm Polish and then started asking if I was Russian because a lot of people think I'm Russian because of my last name and I still need to take my I still need to take my uh ancestry test I keep forgetting to do that but this is uh the empty candle jar and some non-wax items I have a couple we have equate jumbo cotton 200 balls these assisting today i'm sorry that my i really need to wipe off my thing i forgot to uh my <laughs> my closet um we have febreze fresh baked vanilla this one i guess is kind of hard to find i found this at walmart last year but i never finished it i found it in the back of our linen closet in the hallway so i finished it it's into everything I finished a hop to it sweet carrot cake. I have two or three more of these. Originally I had burned this one, but I had it on my warmer in the kitchen. And same with this one. Okay, I may have made a little bit of this into a wax melt for later, but most of this was on the warmer in my kitchen. This is pumpkin spice latte from Bath and Body Works. This had absolutely no throw when it was a single wick. On the warmer, it had pretty good throw, and the same for hop to it. That had a lot of, that had a lot of throw too when I had it on the warmer. Next, um, I've got a Scentsy Scent Circle. This is another Jade and Jasmine one, and it's on my um, trash can in the kitchen. And then we have Daydream Oasis. I put this one in my car in Betty, my Beetle, and it lasted only probably two or three days. These don't last long at all. Um, and it's not a nose blind problem because that's the only way I've really used this recently. 
but I just replaced it again. I just didn't bring the thing in. Went through another 200 count Ulta Beauty cotton balls. And now we're on to a bunch of wax. Oh, another non-wax item. Inhale, exhale. This is a room spray. This was about halfway done already when I dug it out of my stash and it's gone now. It's not one that I was crazy about. I don't have the notes on it, but it's gone. And I finished a, this is a good one. This, if I can get my hands on it. Candles by Victoria Ascent Shot. This is peanut butter and jelly. On first sniff, when it's cold, I can only smell the jelly, but after it's warming, it's actually really delicious if you like peanut butter and jelly. I know some people don't care for that stuff in their home, but I do. And then we've got this roasted espresso, which is from Candle Warmers. I think I got this at Winco. And it was actually really nice. It's a really nice coffee scent. So if for some reason at all, since he did not have Mocha Doodle, I would get this again. Sorry, folks, I'm over here dropping stuff. Um, let's see. Another one, this one was okay. It was not very strong, but I used this in the bathrooms. It was it was all right. It's uh, Walking on Sunshine. There's Red Currant, Mandarin, Peach, Amber, Lily, White Freesia, Orange Blossom, Tonka Bean, and Vanilla. I got some of that currant and some of that vanilla, but not a lot much more, so probably would not repurchase. Wasn't a favorite of mine. And then this I need the notes for. We've got Snowberry. And this is one that everyone loves at wintertime. I want to say it's in the catalog that's starting in a couple weeks, but I'm not positive. Uh, the notes are Loganberry, Strawberry, Peppermint, and Cinnamon. This is actually really nice, sweet, and strawberry. You get a little bit of everything with this one. I warm this a couple times, two or three times in my bedroom. And then we have Hey Tiger Lily. And the notes that I had for this fell off of it. So if we find it later in the bag, we find it later in the bag. But I know it's like citrus and floral. It is really, really strong and potent. And as you can tell, it was one of mine that I needed to use up. Um, it was good. I used this in the bathrooms too. My wish. I don't remember all the notes on this one, but I know there's marshmallow. And I know there's fig. And it was actually really, really nice. I got more of the marshmallow than anything. This time around, I really liked it a few years ago, like three or four years ago. I tried it when it came out for Bring Back My Bar and it wasn't good. I really appreciated it this time and I regret not putting it in my Sensi Club. <laughs> um, I should have, but I did not. And then we've got Harry Potter, Hufflepuff, Just and Loyal. The notes for this one are apple whipped vanilla almond and cinnamon sugar all i was getting was like a little bit of vanilla almond and a little bit of cinnamon and it smelled kind of like sourdough bread so i probably am not going to repurchase this one as much as i wanted to like it i surprisingly enough it's a bakery one i did not care for next one is forever yours which is a bring back my bar from last year and the notes are sweet creamy lemon and enchanting jasmine this is a really nice one. It was kind of nostalgic for me. This was around when I first became a Sensi consultant. I like it. Would I repurchase? If I saw it again, yeah. I don't think it's club worthy, but I would definitely buy it again. And then we have blueberry pancakes. And you guys probably saw this in my video with my stash. And I didn't like this as much as I thought I did. It was very, very tart blueberry butter and um, light maple syrup. So I probably would not repurchase this. If it comes back and it bring back my bar and I buy the entire set, okay, I might pass it on to my sister because this wasn't my favorite. It was way, way too tart for me. And then we have Eskimo Kiss, also known as Polar Bear Hug. And the notes are blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, and vanilla amber. By the way, for you guys that are watching still, um, I may not have a review video this week. I don't know. It all depends on how much time I have on my hands. We've also got the Friends Bar. This is the one I'm going to set aside. Well, I don't need to because I have other ones for my review. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the notes are double espresso, freshly brewed coffee, and coconut cream. 
for those of you that like um, OGX and their coconut coffee body care and the coconut coffee or coconut caffeine that they had for the hair care, you would definitely like this. That's, that's my giveaway that I'm going to give you. Next we have Perfect Gentleman. This one was a little bit much for me. A little too masculine. It's white amber, oak moss, and fresh marine water. It was okay. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying I don't think I'd repurchase it. Next is French Lavender. And the notes for this one. Wild Lavender from the Hills of France. I really love this one and I used it in my bedroom because I needed, I needed some spa-like days. Next is Baked Apple Pie. I just finished this one this morning. It's still in the warmer in my kitchen. And the notes are flaky crust, apples, and spices. I really like this one. It smells like an authentic apple pie, but I don't get a lot of the crust, but still. Next is Bonfire Beach. Those of you that like uh, Bonfire Bash, anything that has like toasted marshmallow in it from Bath & Body Works, you need to try this. The notes are toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, sea air, and ocean spray. This goes away at the very end of August, so if you haven't tried it already, I would order it pretty soon. Another nonsensy wax. This one is from his mainstays at the fair. It's churros, brown sugar, and funnel cake. It's only a dollar, and the cubes really aren't that big. Eh. It's okay. When I bought it, I thought it was really great. But now, not as much. So, would I repurchase? Maybe, but I have a lot of other fragrances. It's not on my priority list, so let's put it that way. And then we have Sugared Strawberry. I decided to leave this in my club. It's, I don't know, it's not an authentic strawberry, but it is strawberry, and it is good. The notes are strawberries, currants, and sun-kissed lemons. It's not my favorite strawberry from Scentsy, but I do actually really like it. And we've got the Muppets. My broken one that got all gooey and juicy. The notes are sparkling melon, Valencia orange, and creamy vanilla. I really actually love this bar and I wish I had more of it. Um, I'm not going to look on the Scentsy black market for it, but I am going to wait and hope that maybe in, you know, maybe they'll bring out a Fozzie bear I can get my sister or something for Christmas and bring this back. I don't think they are. That was not a hint, but I would love it if they did. Then they have a clothesline, which I really like this. I, I kind of fell in love with it when I started warming it. The notes are greens, orange flower, violet, and clean laundry. When this first came out, I didn't like it, but now I do but only in certain rooms. Like this is really awesome in my laundry room or like the bathrooms, maybe even the living room, but I'm more of a foodie person, but it is a really nice fragrance <laughs> nonetheless. And they went through Bananarama, which is not available right now. The notes are sweet, golden, ripe bananas. I actually really love this one. And if it came back, I would definitely put this in my club. Um, I remember a long time ago when my managers like redid his bathroom in like monkeys for his kids. And at that time they had, I had like three or four bars of this and he got so excited and bought it all for me. <laughs> but cause he wanted a monkey bathroom that smelled like bananas and he was able to do exactly that. The next one is fluffy fleece. And this is another one of the kind of it's kind of like clothesline, but different. It is black currant, cozy mask, and heliotrope. This is, to me, this smells like snuggle. As you can tell, I mean, it was only like a year old or two years old, but it was falling apart. Um, I really like this one. So I'm glad this is returning in September. So I will stock up on it throughout the year, or throughout the catalog season. And the next one I went through is Wooly Slippers, and this is one of my favorites from Scentsy. It is Sugared Lavender, Marshmallow, and Vanilla. Really, really awesome mix of 
that marshmallow vanilla and lavender i really like it and if this comes back i would put it in my club Ooh, i have some scent notes that fell off of them because they probably got greasy and okay the one for tiger lily was mandarin jasmine on a bright summer day and the one for my wish was earthy fig sweet violet and playful marshmallows so those ones were really nice um the next one i went through was lucky in love and this smells like love spell from victoria's secret a lot of people like think it's like a knockoff of that i love it and i love that i made commission buying it for myself and the notes are mandarin bergamot oranges hint of peaches and berries so if you like love spell and I know for a lot of people, love spells kind of played out, but I keep a bar or two of this when I can get my hands on it, just because it's nice once in a while. But it is a really good one, and it's very, very strong. Very high thrower there. And actually, I have one more non sensey item. And this is Goose Creek Sugared Donut. I got this at Walmart for like $2.50 or $3. It was in the clearance section, and I got these ones instead I got some vanilla lavender ones but this is really nice and if you are familiar with goose creek uh this smells just like their candle does so this one i really do like it isn't that boring vanilla it's got that sugar donut essence in it. and last but not least of the items i went through is another bar of mocha doodle <laughs> um hands down one of my favorite scentsy ones i mean if i was limited to only like five scentsy bars this would probably be in there the notes are coffee beans cocoa sugar and heavy cream i put a scent circle of this in my car and today i went grocery shopping by myself i went on a drive to go do that because we don't always grocery shop here in town but i really enjoyed it and i had just had the best time and i was smelling my mocha doodle and driving down the road singing along so it was really nice and complimentary, um, especially since uh, right now, I think that hurricane, what's it, what's her name, is going to be touching down in Southern California-ish around this time. And I don't know how it's going to affect us here in Nevada. We I know we're going to have high winds and rain and stuff. I don't know. It's probably going to be considered a tropical storm. I'm not near Vegas. For those of you, a lot of people in my company, for some reason, think that I moved to Las Vegas, which I did not. But... Um, yes that is my empties and i'm starting to work on my fall stuff a little bit as you guys can see and i hope that you really enjoyed it i am going to do this to take a picture for my empties video what i've been warming something like that and everybody say hi to curly curdy curly wordy curdy curly He's more interested in my shadow. He's one of the boys that I saved. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye.